Thanks very much for the introduction. And it's really nice to see people who are in person here and actually to be sitting at, at the uh, microphone and desk with Don. That's always a pleasure. I have no financial disclosures related to this presentation. As we consider our discussion of the tendons about the elbow, and as you consider uh, evaluating any articulation, I think it's nice to have a system, a bookkeeping system for you to think about uh, all of these different uh, anatomic structures and details that we have to keep track of. So with regard to the elbow and tendon anatomy pathology, a bookkeeping system that lends itself well is really regional and divided things into anterior, posterior, medial, and lateral, or radial and ulnar, if you prefer that nomenclature. As we think about the anterior tendons, the biceps, brachii, and the brachialis, posteriorly, of course, the triceps and anconias, we'll be focusing on the triceps. On the ulnar medial side, the pronator teres, the palmaris longus, and the flexors. As we think about laterally or radial structures in the elbow, the supinator, the brachioradialis, the extensors, and, and while on the radial and ulnar side of the elbow, we do have a lot of bookkeeping to do. As we think about pathology that primarily affects these areas, generally we can distill that to the common flexor and the common extensor tendon rather than teasing through each of the specific flexors and extensors though we will discuss ways that we can do that. So let's jump right in and begin our discussion with the biceps brachii. Of course, we consider our evaluation of the biceps from the top, the proximal biceps, intraarticular at the level of the shoulder, attaching at the supraglenoid tubercle, traversing the length of the humerus, and as we move towards the distal attachment, distal to the articular surface, obviously, of the elbow, the two fusiform muscles that either come together to form a single tendon towards the distal emphasis or attachment at the radial tube rossi, or in some cases, we actually see the two contributions of the short and long heads of the biceps. Now, I think as we generally think about evaluating the biceps around the elbow, most of us probably think about this as a single tendon, but we have to understand that in some cases, that short, long head, actually, we can see the two components sometimes completely separate or sort of as a dumbbell shape with a small, uh, a small attachment at the junction of the two. This crosses the elbow as a flattened tendon, as, as, as I said previously, attaches at the radial tuberosity. And we'll also discuss this broad medial expansion, the bicipital aponeurosis or lacerdus fibrosis that extends from the biceps tendon and fuses with the superficial margin of the flexor group. So let's move forward.